Hello everyone, uh, this is Michael, the CEO of Nosby, and uh, today I'm at the conference, but I wanted to record quickly this video to showcase the new three exciting features of Nosby 1.9. So uh, let's get to it. One of the cool features of Nosby uh, in 1.9 is that you can share any project with anyone, even if they don't, they don't have a Nosby account and don't have to have a Nosby account. They can use it, uh, they, can, they can share a project with you without um, having a Nosby account, so you can just send them the project. So let's invite someone here. Uh, this is my team, but I'm going to invite someone else. So in this person's inbox, there is an invitation waiting for them. Uh, so as you can see, uh, I invited them to share a project and they have a link. And here is an explanation of what it does and how it works. So let's see how... As you can see, there is information that it's a secure private access to Nosby project shared with Michael Nosby. And um, you can sign up for account and access project or learn more. So later I can sign up. Very simple. And, um, right now I can use the, um, the, the application. The person who was invited can use the application. They can actually, you know, uh, here add a comment. And um, I can delegate this task to myself. Um, can add tasks. The other person can fully collaborate with you. Like if they had a Nosby account, even if they don't have a Nosby account, they can still fully collaborate with you. They can use um, uh, a Nosby as if, uh, I mean, as, as uh, in the web browser without signing up or anything. I can only have the project view, so the person who's being invited can have the project view. To be able to access other things, it has to sign up for a trial of Nosby. But they can still work with you without uh, a proper Nosby account. So I think it's, it's, it's really groundbreaking and helps collaboration this person so um, I have the new comment here great and uh, I have the new next actions because that was there was a task delegated to me so as you can see full collaboration between two people one who's using Nosby and the other one who is still you know not decided but is using Nosby through a web browser thanks to the link that I sent them in my email so I think this is groundbreaking this is uh, a new uh, way to collaborate with everyone and it's secure because everything the whole communication happens through a secure um encrypt connection you don't have to send emails you don't have to another, uh, another 1.9 feature i'm really proud about is the evernote reminders sync so um because here's my evernote account as you can see i have three reminders uh in uh, evernote so i can manage them here in evernote uh, very nice but uh, there is a better way to manage reminders uh, because if your Nosby account is synced with your Evernote account, look what happens. When I go to my inbox in Nosby, you can see the same reminders here synced with uh, with my Evernote account. And you have the, uh, the dates and times and everything else. So I can actually change, like for example, this note. And um, each note is with an elephant, so Evernote logo. And so you know that it's an Evernote reminders. And automatically it, it, it has an Evernote reminders context. So you can see all of your Evernote reminders in one place, but you can actually change the project of this. You can change uh, the date. Let's see. Let's put it on Wednesday. Um, time needed. You can you know use adjust it just the way you would work with Nosby. You can view the reminder as um, uh, Evernote uh, note. Very good uh, presentation from Caitlin Christensen. Uh, you can add your own comments. So you can work with Evernote reminders like you would work with tasks in Nosby. And what, what, what's great about it is that it automatically syncs with Evernote. So um, if I go to back to Evernote, you can see that my Creator and Christensen note uh, reminder has been updated. The date has been updated. If I, and if I'm back in Nosby and one of the reminders is done, so let's see this one is done. You can see that I have two reminders because one was done. So it's all in sync. So whether you work in reminders here in Evernote or in Nosby, which we think is more um, 
intuition and I think we're, it's, it's smarter way to work with reminders here in the task management. Try to treat them as tasks. Add comments, add additional information, add context, change the projects. Use the reminders as tasks, but they are still synced with your Evernote account. So we think it's again, if you're a Power Evernote user, you use Evernote reminders, put the Evernote reminders as tasks in Nosby automatically with our Evernote sync. And the last feature connected with that, with the dates, with the reminders, with everything, is that if you enable your iOS, iPhone, Android or Mac app to send you push reminders, it will remind you about your dates and your time. Not only will they go to your next actions as they used to, but they will, you will also be, uh, receive push reminders to your device. So you'll never forget anything again. These three features, sharing projects together, Evernote reminders sync and push notifications are the three basic features of Nosby 1.9 and I'm, and I'm really, really excited about it. So uh, make sure to check it out. Thank you.